Hello everyone. Welcome to our virtual classroom. Today we will be heading to the art studio again. For today's project, we will be experimenting with a brand new technique. We take a plastic bag, fill it with a little bit of air, tie it, and that's what we're going to use to paint. It's pretty fun. Can't wait to show you. But before we head out to our project, let me share with you a couple of new things in our art studio. Our galleries are growing and we've added a brand new section. Client Superhero Gallery. This section of our art studio is going to showcase any kind of superhero art that you'd like to send in. Angie did Wonder Woman, Anna did Batwoman, but you can use your imagination and you can even make up your own hero. Once you send it to me, we will put it up here on our superhero gallery. And by the end of the month or the end of next month, however long it takes us to fill it, we're gonna make a giant poster of the ADT client superheroes. Looking forward to hearing from you. Hi everyone, welcome back to Art Class. Today, we are going to do another abstract project. Same method, half white paint, half blue. And I think this one we might be able to keep under five minutes. This method is painting with a plastic bag full of air. I know that sounds a little crazy, but when you see it, you'll understand why. It's beautiful and soothing and fun. So just like the other one, it's important to fully saturate your canvas so that when we put the colors on it, it flows. This one got a little chunky. That's okay. It's gotta be smooth. There we go. Okay, so we are going to use, we're gonna do a very simple method. I tried this earlier on a bigger canvas and my battery died. So now I'm using the iPad. Okay, we're going to do pink. Let's do a little bit bigger. Okay, and we're going to do a little bit of purple. And then we are going to put a little bit of green, almost like if it was leaves on the outside. It doesn't matter if it goes over a little, because much like we did before, it's going to transform into another design. So let's put, let's put a little orange in the middle. Right there. Okay. So the method is you take a plastic bag full of air. I think this is actually just a packaging bag. But if you don't have one of these, which most people don't, you just take a Ziploc. You blow into it, fill it with air, and use that. Anything that you could fill with a little bit of air, you will use it to paint. So we're going to take this. We're going to put it straight down over the paint. We're going to let it sit there a little bit. We're going to let the paint move around under the plastic. And then we're going to lift it up. Okay. Isn't that cute? We got two designs. Then we're going to make another one. And it almost looks a little bit like an orchid, I would say. So I'm going to leave it alone there because I don't want to mess this up since we've never done this before. And I'm simply going to stretch out the green a little bit. So for that, I'm going to use my fan brush. This is the fan brush, remember? And I'm going to bring this out. See? Just bring it out so the paint doesn't sit there. And then we're going to go the other way, like this. Just placing it down. Okay? After that, because there was too much paint on there, let's take a flat brush like this. Okay, and we're just going to bring that out here. Okay, and 
Now we can take a little more paint here on the end because I don't want to mess with this pretty form we got there. I really like that. I think that looks like a flower. So I'm going to take this clean end right here. Maybe I should put a little bit more of green. I wish you guys were here. This would be so much more fun with you. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to push it down. And the plastic is actually making its own design. Okay, so this is the plastic bag, like the baggies that you have at home. And what you do is you open it up, and you leave just a little bit open so you could blow in some air. And when you've got some air in there, you could come back, and let's see what color we're going to add in here. Let's do a little bit of white. Let's do a little white and green. Okay. Let's turn that back to how you had it. And if it seems like it has too much air and you can't move the plastic around, take a little bit off. Feel like you could scrunch it a little bit. So we're going to go in. I didn't want to touch the flower, but there we go. Now, since that side's already done there, I need to put in a little bit more here. Should we put in a little more white? I think we should put in a little more white. Make it look like it's got white flowers on the top and a pretty pink one on the bottom. That might work out. In fact, I think we should use a little bit of orange. Because if we're going to be tropical, that's the way to go. Feeling a little more color up here. And what's great is you guys can do anything you want. This is your art. here and you could go over this and over this and add as much as you want take away as much as you want because really it's going to be whatever you want it to be so your imagination along with the plastic is actually what is painting your abstract so we're going to go down That one didn't come out so well as I expected it to, but that's okay. Because we can just put a little more white in there. See, this one to me looks like a daisy. That looks like an orchid. And that one doesn't really look like anything yet. But we're working on it. So we'll keep moving it around until we're happy with it. going to use another method and take a little dot and put it right there. Take the back of the paintbrush, try to see where the camera is. There we go. See, there it is. And put it right here. That's what I want to see. That's what I was going for. So we're using a couple of different methods on this, as it should be, right? Because we are artists. Let's see if there's anything else I want to add here. I think I want to put a little paint in here and have it flow back up. Just 
to 10. I'm going to take my very thin paintbrush and bring in a little swirly swirl over here. white, swirl it into the middle, Sorry. that's my mom, she's making noise in the background, but that's okay, we'll let it go. Okay, and for my finishing touch, I think we're going to hold this here. Just clean that up a bit. what I was going for. I like my little dots. You guys know how much I love to make little dots all the time. And just a little bit of white. So you see, the plastic really did all the shapes for us. We just embellished them a little bit here and a little bit there. And I think we can call this piece finito. And there you go. All with a plastic bag and a little bit of painting with a brush. Okay, guys, till next time.